everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk Art. And uh, we have a really um, exciting show today. And I, I want to um, reach out to a few people that I know that are watching me today. Um, two very special gentlemen. They are my grandsons and they're twins and they're, they're both six years old. And I'm going to be talking about their mother today. So I thought it'd be really fun for them to watch their grandmother. Or I, I'm called Ama. And, um, and then we'll, we'll talk about what, um, what the whole uh, thing is today. So also, I want to also wave to my friend Ronnie Lefcourt, who I know that she was going to watch today. And she's a part of my show uh, in, my, in my little talk that we're going to have. And I also, um, we get a lot of texts coming in with questions, and before I, I don't get to see them because I don't really look at my phone, but today I think they're going to pop some up when they come in, so I'll have to take a little break and hopefully answer a question or two. Um, so my, my um, theme today is actually, uh, there's, a, there's a call number over my balloon. <laughs> So I can't show it very well. Do you see the call number? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Um, and I would like to put up um, another painting uh, of the um, invitation, if Teddy can get that on the back screen. We're working on it. They're working, working on it now. So, okay, in the meantime, I'm going to talk about um, the balloon that's here. It's an air balloon, and it does have a couple of uh, people in there right now. Um, but the story starts... Um, when uh, my daughter, my youngest daughter, Melissa, she was eight years old, and I went to the Art Expo in New York City with a, my good friend Ronnie, who I just mentioned, and she was representing her daughter, Allison Lefcourt, who today has become a very famous artist. I know she's with Disney, and she's all over the place, and her mother had to give up the management a while back, so she's got her own team that works with her. And um, so Ronnie had invited me to come to the Art Expo to sort of help. And I was, um, I was walking around in um, the, the art show, and I remember that uh, Ron, uh, Allison said to me, oh, do you want to meet Romero Brito? And I said, absolutely. Uh, I didn't really know who he was at that point. Um, and then we went over to him, and he, I introduced myself, and he said, here, I would like to ha give you this book. Now, Allison was 17 years old, and I think that Romero Brito was a, a little bit older, but they, they knew each other because they were both starting out in the business. And he gave me a beautiful book, signed it, and I brought it home from the show, and I put it on my coffee table. And Romero Brito is very famous in, in, the, in South Florida, and I'm sure if you saw his work, you would, you would understand um, you know, his style. So I'm, I'm just, whatever I was doing in the house, my daughter comes back with me and, to me and she has a, pain, uh, a marker painting that she did. And the painting was so much like Brito that I like flipped out. I couldn't believe that she had that ability. And from that day on, uh, I went out and I got her uh, some paints and some canvases and she started to paint. So. I'm going to, as you can see back here, um, that that was a, a bat mitzvah invitation that she did for her own bat mitzvah. But in the meantime, she was painting those years between eight years old and 12. And she was doing, uh, it's behind, well, yeah, there it is. She was doing these like Brito type paintings, very colorful, um, very, very unique. And um, it was, it was just, crazy that she had that, that talent. And then from there, she, um, after her bat mitzvah, she, she, I know she went to um, the Dreyfus School where she um, was learning art, more art. And it really wasn't for her because she was a little bit more, not like an arty person, but the art was inside her. So she, you know, she didn't really um, make a lot of contact with the kids. So she wanted to go back to school, in a regular school. So she did that and then she majored in um, art, uh, or she minored in art in college, and after college she went to uh, 
she went to college in, in Washington and then she went to Chicago where she eventually um, met her husband. And she, so there she was not really drawing or painting anymore, but I do have a lot of things that she did in the meantime that were her, her pencil drawings and everything, She's very, very talented. And so um, I, I had a number of her paintings in my house and I kept saying, Melissa, I'm gonna send you these paintings. And she's going, I, I don't really want them in right now. I don't need them. So I ended up sending her some of her originals that were small so she could show her kids. She does have three children, as I mentioned. The two boys are, are, um, are twins and both of them are very into art. And they, they, I love it because they call me and they, they show me their work and they're very excited about it. So back to the balloon. So as many of you know, um, there it is. I, um, I do a lot of mosaic work and I've, I've mentioned that. And I guess there's a piece here, one of my pieces with the, the uh, we all matter hands. And uh, around, around the whole studio, we have lots of um, mosaics that I've done too. So one day I'll, I'll do a tour of, of the wall. And so she, um, I asked her, well, actually I didn't ask her. I decided that since she didn't want some of the art that I was going to work with a children's charity, which I'm working on right now. And I'm going to donate and some of the pieces of her work um, to the kids. And besides that, um, I, I decided that I was going to um, take this invitation of hers and re recondition it. So I cut the pieces up. I've saved all the, um, the religious stuff, uh, the words that she wrote and her signature and everything and I put it into a bag and I'm attaching it to the back of, of the balloon. Now, in the balloon there's a basket and I put two little people in there right now and I'm hoping that we can make some miniature of the Joseph family, so the miniature of the whole family and stick them in the basket. And then if she really wants to later on, she could add, if she wants to make it back to a, another religious piece of memory or whatever, she could add the, her signature, which I have, and I've saved all that stuff. So um, I'm, I'm, kind of, uh, I'm kind of fond of, of the balloon only because it's, it's a memory piece for her. And I think that, that she and her family would really love that. Uh, so I, I, um, I, that's that's my my calling card right now. But then um, there's another photo. Do you have the next photo? Okay, so this is the photo of her first piece. Okay, and she did it on a piece of paper uh, with her markers, and that's the one. There was a couple just like that that surprised me. Actually, I was able to send that to her because it wasn't so large. And then uh, we when we started to uh, work on her bat mitzvah, and she wanted to. Uh, do the invitation. I thought that's great. And then we, we spoke to somebody that was going to help us with the party. And he suggested that we take her characters, because every everyone, I mean, it's hard to see the face on this one. I think it's a little bit high. But um, she had maybe 10 different characters that she did. And I, I, um, I showed them to the party planner and he said, okay, we're going to make characters out of all her paintings. So for, for the room, all over the room were hanging characters. And uh, then we got, I got this great idea and we, we uh, went out and we bought ladders. Can you show the ladder? It's coming up, maybe, oh, there it is. Now I, I just took a picture of that last week because it's in my girlfriend's house and I don't have a ladder, but my nephew did just tell me that he was gonna give me one of them from from way back. So I took a picture of that to show you that we painted. I helped her and I had some friends over and we were sitting down in the hallway of my house and we had all these ladders lined up and we were painting, we were all painting them with her, her style. And um, so it, it was really, really a lot of fun and, and the, the place looked wild and it was all about Melissa. So that was really important. So now um, I'm, I'm really thrilled to be able to share her paintings with other children and I think she's very into that also. And, and now that her children are painting, so there's a lot of um, characteristics of, of, of these paintings um, that, that the kids are doing. I can just see the style, it's just really, really wild. And the, and the other thing was that, that I 
I'm a late bloomer, as everybody knows, and I didn't really start painting till I went to Canada. And that, that brings me to um, uh, talking about how, how you're so busy in your, in your young life, raising your family, exactly with my daughter who has three children, and you don't really have time to sit down and draw or do anything that's, little, that's creative in, in that direction because you don't have that quiet time, which you really need. And that's why a lot of, a lot of people do um, become artists uh, in later on in life because they do have plenty of time. So anyway, I, I am very um, uh, happy with, <laughs> yes, I'm very happy with the, the way that things are turning out with, with um, my style is sometimes similar to her and I really never really knew that I could do it. So I'm, I'm yeah, it's, it's terrific. So I wanted to um, uh, talk about my, um, my guest for a few minutes because um, I'll give her a little bit more time on the other side. So Donna and I um, met through our husbands. We were in business together. And, and we, I met her, I, I've, I've seen her in a couple of events in Chicago, and then she was very busy uh, doing interior design and then she was doing jewelry, which is gorgeous jewelry, which I have to say that I'm wearing one of her pieces and hopefully she'll, she'll talk about it a little, in a little bit. And um, so she also, um, later in life, when her kids were grown, and she decided that she would move to St. Kitts with her husband, you know, part-time, and she had time on her hands. So what did she do? She went out and she got a paintbrush and she is totally amazing. So. I'm going to give her a few extra minutes and um, we're going to take a commercial now so I can show her uh, to you and introduce her. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed my little segment about my daughter and, um, and hopefully one day, Melissa, you will start painting again and, and doing what you will do once those kids are not driving you crazy. So <laughs> um, all my love to you boys and, um, and now we're going to go for a commercial. See you later. Hey, welcome back. I hope you like the commercial. Um, it's a great way to show my art and um, I've, I've got them in staged rooms so you can really see how they would look in, in your home. And I um, are ready to welcome Donna and I'm looking for her. And there she is. Hi, Donna. Hi. Oh, so welcome to my show. I'm so pleased to have you. You know, it's so comfortable to, to have somebody that you know and um, and, and really enjoy the work and uh, everything about you is just so talented. So let's, let's talk about a um, uh, little bit about you and then we can move into your, your paintings. So, um, thank you, thank you for having me on the show. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, um, so talk a little bit louder and we'll be good. All right, so. So you know, our, seg our segment, our segment, um, what we really wanted to focus on is um, how you got to the Caribbean. But before you do that, why don't you just? I gave you a little uh, introduction of, uh, of of what you do, but tell us how you get started and why, and where and how. Okay. <laughs> Every artist has a journey, and, and ours was an interesting one. I was born and raised in New York. Um, study privately ever since I can remember holding a paintbrush. And I was lucky in that respect. We moved, well, we, Tom and I grew up together, so we moved, once we oh, married, we moved. grew up together, that's well, right. Yeah, <laughs> same neighborhood. We moved to um, New Jersey where, where I taught school art. Art school. And your teaching is my soul, I guess. It's part of me it always will be and it led me it, it led me to my own personal growth and it led me to other mediums that i never dreamed i would even pursue one of which was jewelry and interior design and just everything because Let i had me to ask you a question about the interior design so you were yeah. i know you were very busy um and you were doing a lot of homes and things and being that you um, really didn't step into the art yet, 
you know, as far as painting. I mean, how did you feel in the in the in the houses when you saw the walls? I mean, you you, you had an eye to make, know what art should go in there, or I mean, well, that's yeah, very I important. Mean, I, 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 I painted oil painting since I was a child. Oh, okay. Yeah, I started painting when I was just a little child. Oh, and I didn't then, realize. Um, and then we had a family. And I put away painting for 25 years. Okay. Because I couldn't do it. I just couldn't mm -hmm. keep up with the household and the cooking and the driving and the right. football and everything. I just couldn't do it. And you know, artists like, um, when you're doing a painting, you can't just stop. You can't just put it aside. And I knew that to do it justice, I had to give it my full attention. And my children with it my full attention at that right. time. Sure. That was it. Yeah, we all have that. Was that. It. Right. It was, it was totally and still is my total focus. So, so how did you start the jewelry then? Why, so what the made jewelry, you do that? Well, the jewelry is easy to put down, whereas painting, I couldn't. So I started the jewelry years and years and years ago, and I use it as a relaxing way. It comes very easily to me. And I do it between every painting. So I, after I complete the painting, I do, go on to jewelry and I forget about the next picture. I don't forget about it. I'm thinking about it all the time. But it gives me my mind a, a resting point. Sure. And so, it, and it's a very large point part of my life. I mean, you know, doing the jewelry, it's like a passion. Yeah, so, and, and the, some of the some of the stones and the quartz and all the things that you work with. I mean, I've never seen anything so beautiful. I, you know, I've seen jewelry out there, but so, there's something about your work. Yeah, let's show a piece. Let's see if we can see it. Okay, okay, all right. And what is that? Is that uh, a blue marine or something? I, I, I can't get it straight. Let's see. Yeah, that's a beautiful piece. This is Chalcedony, and it's Vermeil. And Vermeil, for those of you that don't know. Vermeil is uh, sterling silver dipped in 14 karat gold. Wow. Uh, I also like artifacts. So you must and have a big so, investment. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I love it. This oh, that's is, beautiful, uh, too. From Tibet. I'm trying to get it to the camera. So there we go. You do, have, you do have a website so people can go look at your jewelry, correct? I do, and it's Solion, S O L E O N A R T dot com. Solion Art dot com. Um, Here's another. Very this pretty. Is, uh, you know, I, I, I do a variety of things, but. Um, oh, we're, they're beautiful. They really are. I mean, I, I've, I know and for facts, I've seen them up close and personal. <laughs> so so uh, uh, you, I, when, you, really uh, when, when you uh, and, and Tom decided to, to go to um, St. Kitts in the Caribbean, um, were you st still doing your jewelry? I was. I've been, I've been many fine art festivals in the Chicagoland area and many private businesses in, in Illinois using just the, the jewelry at that time because much of my 16 years ago, we bought a home in the Caribbean. Right. And in St. Kitts. Yay, yeah, St. Kitts. I know you're watching. <laughs> and, Hi, St. Kitts. <laughs> And so, uh, because many of my my current originals are there, um, I, I stuck to the jewelry with the fine art shows. And um, when, when we moved to St. Kitts again 16 years ago, our my family gave me an easel in the in the moving van that was an easel, and they said, you know, you did a great job, Mom. Now get get to work. So I went back to painting. Okay. So yeah, and so you had a lot of time on your hands. So, so you started painting, and you started doing portraits, and they do, and you were so influenced by the Caribbean, right? By the you know, you could just we could start talking about some of your pieces because they're they're just totally amazing. Um, I'm going to see. So. We're going to put what about one on the screen. Okay, so there's one you could start to tell us about. Painting. That's my latest painting. So it hasn't even been in the gallery yet. By the way, my work is currently in the Dale Gallery in St. Kitts in Christoph Harbor. In the Saint Four Kitts. Seasons Hotel. 
Or is that, that a different before, place? I, it was before I went to the Dale Gallery. I was, I was at the Four Seasons for four years. Oh, okay. In the island of Nevis, at the island of Nevis. And so, Nevis, wow. And that was next, next door. So uh, once, once my work came back to St. Kitts, uh, Dale's Gallery, Dale Gallery took, took on my work, and it's presently there now. This is uh, a reflection of, an, of uh, a lady who lives on the island, and she's doing boutique. And so what, a, what are the materials you're, you're working with? I'm working with acrylic now, and the okay. reason why, because you can't try, try bringing oils, oil oh. paints, onto right. the beach. Right. It's just not no, no, no. <laughs> A little wind will do it, right? <laughs> yeah. The yeah. tents dried up all my oils anyhow, so that's what I taught myself 16 years ago. Okay. I started doing Okay, let's bring up yeah. another one. All right, and this is a little girl on the beach. Well, it's a little girl or a little boy. It very okay. much, uh, very much resembles my god, my my grandson. But um, it it was a child that we saw in, um, and I, I I made made the child put his hand in his mouth because that's what my grandson does all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> and. Um, but it is um, a child that we saw in um, in France. Oh, okay. France. Okay. Yeah. All right. Another one. Ah. Uh, this one is also a very recent one, and, and it's behind see, you too. You can see the colors it, better in the real life. Yeah. If you can see the knees, it's all about the, the torn pants, which is very much a sign of the times. Oh yeah, she's got, uh, yeah. I, I've seen that they, they've got the, the uh, holes in the knees. You know, yeah, you know we buy jeans today with torn knees, and we pay right. a lot of money for those torn pants. Yeah, they're in <laughs> style before we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so uh, when I finished when I completed her a few months ago, and that also has not been exhibited yet and will be very shortly. Um, I I finished. The jeans were just regular, and I said, "There's something, something, something lacking. What is it? What is it?" And then I looked down at my own pants, and I went, oh, "Of course, it's the it's the knees." The knees. So, and that's the lady that was in the in the um, the vegetable market down I think it's oh, okay. town. Mm -hmm. I just changed her <laughs> her appearance by putting a you know a, a robe across her and rip her okay. her jeans like that. <laughs> That's right. also acrylic. I'd like yeah, to, I mean, so I don't, I want, I want to get some more in, so let's go look at another one. Ah, this ah, is cool. This is Bushy. Bush, I have seven paintings of Bushy. Oh. He's a, he's a man who takes care of our home when we're not there, and, um, and this is a very early on painting of his, uh, of him, and uh, very stylized, a little different. I like to, I like to vary my when the wind hits, you know what that's like. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it, just the, the coloring and everything is so perfect. It's beautiful, really beautiful. That's Bushy when he was younger. And and I, I use him a lot because he's always around the house, so I'll make him stop yes. and say, okay. <laughs> yeah, <he> always. <laughs> okay. You know, Stay pose. still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another one. He's a great subject. Oh, I love he's this one. Fun. This is called Curiosity, and that's hanging behind this is Curiosity, me. right? Uh, curiosity, and uh, I, I hung it in paper, in the paper version. I make she clays both in canvas and on paper. And I I really love the way that the paper ones are turning out, but you have to put them under glass. Right. Uh, and so, um, so they turn out looking a little more like a watercolor. Wow. Yeah, I love and the way the water like, looks too. It's nice, yeah, it's, nice, so, it's a nice change of pace. So, Donna, you you teach there too in the Caribbean, right? You have classes I do. I've never there. Charged, I've never charged a nickel for any of my classes. I started oh, how teaching. nice! I've, I've started teaching. There was a desperate need for people to learn art on the island, and so we started about nine years ago now on the beach and um, at. A, a local beach bar that was owned by a friend of mine, and um, we would just go there and paint. Oh. And more and more people would show up. And again, there's a, a desperate need and desire and great artistic ability on the island. 
And then when we moved to Davidson, North Carolina, again, uh, there's, there was such a desire to learn. So I did it again here. So you're teaching now, there now. With the, with the virus thing, you know. Right. Yeah, so it's a little bit harder. But um, hopefully you and I, I'll join you in St. Kitts and paint one day if you're still going. Absolutely. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah, but I look Absolutely. forward to that. Um, I think we might have one more picture, do we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there he is with the straw on his head. And that's Bushy Man and one of my favorite paintings. Um, and this one is, he was, he was actually posing for me with a sack of coconuts on his head. Oh. And as I painted it, it looked like a big baked potato. And I went, that's not going to happen. I got to get this off his head. <laughs> no matter how many times I did it, it looked like a baked potato. So at that point, it transformed into twigs. And, and um, the colors are what really I had a lot of fun with. It, it oh, yeah. It all the yellows and own. greens. Yeah. Yeah. But the, everything I'm doing lately is very colorful, very vibrant. Uh, and it's happy. It's, it's, I mean, the Caribbean is, it's happy well, colors. We all have, we, we were talking about that earlier, um, how, how we really need the art and the music to keep us going and, and, and it's the happy thing. I mean, and you know, there's really no negatives in art and music. So it's really important that we share what we do um, with everybody and, um, and hopefully um, this, this, the colors and the, and the brightness will continue on in our lives. Um, and uh, I, I mean, I paint very colorful, as you can see, and um, it's, it just keeps you happy. And, uh, and if, you, if you start to paint dark, then you have to wonder what's going on, you know. So, yeah, I've had a couple of those, those moments, and, and then we just pop back into the color, and, and we're happy again. So it's very important. On my website, you will see that I have two sections, one under paintings, one for the north and one for St. Kitts, and you will see a huge difference in color between the two sets. Okay. Just a huge difference. Also, uh, before and after, you know, the, the, the art training before and what I'm doing now. So you'll see, you'll see it's very, very different, much more colorful now. All right, bet. So I know my our, our time gets really short, but. Tell me, is there something that, that uh, I know you, you took notes and you wanted to say some things? Did we miss anything? Oh, I don't know. I, I know that, um, you know, if I, if, if, especially those of, of you who are watching and are my students, you know that, uh, I always say this, art, it's like reading a good book when you're doing a painting. At first, you have no idea where it's going, and that's just fine. That's right. Just fine. Yeah. By the middle of the book, you know where the characters are. And by the middle of the painting, you know where the characters are. And by the by by that point, if you put it down like a good book, you have to sit there and work on it. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if I wrote anything else down. The last <laughs> one, art is not what you see, but, but what you make other people see. Right. And that's, that's a good way to put it. I'm uh, just delighted to be given all these opportunities. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy to have you on the show. And, um, and I, maybe you. we'll we'll touch base again this summer because uh, I, I got a chance to um, stop by your house on the way uh, from North Carolina, well, from where we were staying back to Florida. And, um, and I, it was just an amazing experience. And, and your, your decorating in your house is just unbelievable. I could have moved in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was the first one to use your new room downstairs, so I'm, yes. you know, that, that was really exciting. And, um, and, yeah. and, and being that, that um, the two of us are sort of in the same wavelength at this age, um, we have a lot in common to talk about all the time, so we just never stop talking, which I hope that goes on forever. I really, I really adore you. See you again. Okay, so I think, um, and nobody's telling me, oh, okay, it is time to say goodbye to most of my family. <laughs> and we'll see you all next week, um, and I look forward to uh, talking about another series or something that I'm into, so look forward to that, and I'll see you all. Bye.